Now, let's see. that we've got for our video. I come over here and I can see according to my screen, to my comments right here, that I want between 410 and 428 of President Monson's talk. So I'm gonna come back over here to my Premiere Pro I'm going to drag my slider. It's a little annoying. You can hear him talking as you, as you drag, but it's okay. <clears throat> I'm going to move this over so I can see the times that I have. I'm just going to hide my dock real quick. It's out of my way. So I'm looking for 4 minutes and 10 seconds. I'm going to drag this over. I'm actually going to pull it just a, about 5 seconds before. So I can make sure I get it as exact as I want. So right now I'm looking for this brothers and sisters, it may safely be assumed, paragraph. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to hit the space bar, and I'm going to listen. And so I know that right there he's starting to say brothers and sisters. I'm going to drag this back a little bit more. And if you use your left and right arrow keys, you can move it by these. The highest this number goes is 30, and then it changes this to 10. So it'll be 409.29, and when it hits 30, let me show you real quick. It changes to 10. So this isn't a full minute right here. It's like, or a full second right here. It's like half a second. That's how that one works. Anyways. So you can move with your left and right arrow keys to get to the exact spot where you want him to start talking. And because the scene changes when he starts this new paragraph, I think I'm going to cut it. I want to start my clip right when the camera changes angles. So when I find where I want, so right now I'm at 409.19, that's where I want to start, I'm going to hit my I key. And that's where I want my clip to start. So that's like saying start it there, that's in. It stands for in. You can also click right here. It will do the same thing. I think learning the keyboard shortcuts will really do you well though. It just makes your editing process go so much faster if you know the little keyboard shortcuts. So remember, I key marks where you want in. And if you use your left and right arrow keys, it will change where your marker is. So if I wanted to change, oh, excuse me. If I wanted to change where my in was, say I wanted to go back a second, I just go to that spot and I hit I, and it'll extend it back to here. There we go, I want it right when the camera changes. So that's gonna be my in point. And then I know that it ends somewhere around 428. So let's go ahead and scroll to 428-ish, probably 424. Let's check over here where we want it to end. Nor has there ever been a period that did not have its full share of turmoil and misery. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to hit my space bar to play. And I'm going to pause it because he just said what I wanted him to say. But can you see how it looks like he's about to start his next statement? I'm going to go ahead and use my arrow key, my left arrow key, to go back. You can see he's kind of saying misery right there, but he's starting to talk there. So I want it somewhere in between those two. So I'm thinking right about 427.12 is probably a good spot to end. So I'm going to hit O on my keyboard, O for out, and that's where my clip is going to end. You can see right here, this is the same. You could click this and it would work. And again, if we move our thing to the left and we wanted to cut it earlier, you can't see it very well, but let me show you real quick. You see the slider bar right here across the bottom of your screen? 
either end of these, if I click and drag, it's going to zoom in right here. So that's zooming in on this part of the movie, but we can still slide like way back to the beginning and way back to the end. But this will show the in and out things a lot better. So I can click with my left and right arrow keys again and see how my little slider right here is moving backwards. Let's say I wanted my ending point to be right there at 425.10. I could just hit my O for out and it would move my ending point. So let's go back to where I really wanted it. Actually, I think I like 15 better than 12. So I'm going to do 427.15 instead. I'm going to hit O for out. You can see it changed it to there. Now, here's the tricky part. If you want just the video, you click here. If you want just the audio, you click here. But if you want both, you just bring your mouse up here onto the screen, click and drag down here into your timeline. And you're just gonna drop it. Now, remember at the beginning when I said don't worry about your settings? That's because right here, this should, come, this should pop up when you try and import the clip that you just picked into your timeline. It says, hey, the settings of your project aren't matching the settings of this video that you imported. And we're like, oh, that's not good. Let's change the sequence settings to match the imported video settings. It'll automatically say default to keep existing settings. Don't do that. We want to change the sequence settings so that it matches our imported video. So automatically Premiere Pro will take care of the settings and now our settings of our video editing matches the settings of the clip that we imported. But now you can see this yellow box is now around my timeline. That means I'm working within my timeline. So if I hit the space bar while I'm down here, it'll play. But nothing's playing yet because I put this clip way out here at like 10, 12 seconds. So as we wait for that to show up, Over here, so I just hit the space bar to pause it once it got there. This is your preview window. So anything you edit and change down here, as you play it, you can watch it right here. So this is your source where you're grabbing the clips that you want, the portions of the clips that you want. This is your timeline down here where you're dragging your, so you've got your in and out points and you'll drag the video and or audio that you want into your timeline down here. Up here is where you're going to watch everything that you do. So I did not like having to wait like 10 seconds to watch that. So I'm going to come down here and click on this guy and drag him over here. You can see how it kind of snaps to the beginning. You see that line that shows up? That's where I want him. So then if I bring this guy back to the beginning, I hit my space bar and it'll start playing immediately.